सो हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज शिवम बोहरा वेलकम टू लर्न कंपेरेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोर्ट शिव सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कंपेरेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू लर्न इन मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम्स देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू हेयर वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशन कंसेप्चुअल वीडियोज ऑन वेरियस प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम्स एंड ऑल्सो कंडक्ट लाइव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सेशंस सो बिफोर वी एक्चुअली गेट स्टार्टेड Here's a reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet. So in this video, we are going to start with strings. But to understand strings, we first need to understand what a character is. So let's first understand what are characters. So till now we have seen that this int is a data type that is used to represent that this x is storing integer type values. this x is storing integer type values similarly this char is another data type that is used to represent that this a is storing character type values right now characters characters are to be enclosed within single quotes that is we have to write characters within single quotes so let's say i am writing writing u right so i have to write it within single quotes right now these characters could be letters numbers white spaces white spaces are nothing but blank spaces tab spaces new lines horizontal spaces vertical spaces etc right so here we are using a single blank space right they can also be special symbols like and hashtag hash or uh, star or at the rate etc right similarly they can also be certain other non printable characters right so here this a is storing a capital letter which is u right and this b is storing a small letter which is a similarly this c is storing number this d is storing a blank space and this e is storing a single special symbol right but one thing is for sure this a can store only a single character not something like ua it can only store a single character right so here i am simply printing each and every variable after they are initialized so if i simply run this code then all these letters would be printed or, or all, all these characters would be printed on the same line so this is my output ua7 ua7 then a space and then this and symbol then a space and then this and symbol right so now we have this question on characters it says that write a program to store or to take a character as input and check whether the given character is a vowel or a consonant right so i have to take or store a character as input and i have to check whether it's a vowel or a consonant right now vowels are basically english alphabets which are a e i o or u right rest all characters except these five are called as consonants are called as consonant consonants and these five are called as vowels right now our input would be simply a single character c right so we have to simply store a character and we have to output or print vowel if the given character is a vowel or we have to print consonant consonant if it is a consonant right and it is given that this c would be an english upper case alphabet so here this sample input shows that if my input is z then i have to print consonant right so let's just go to the submit part let me write the code here so i'll simply write char ch right to store the character so I'll, then i'll write c in ch to take the character as input now i have to check whether my character is a vowel or not so i'll write ch equals to equals to So in single quotes, capital A because my ch or character would be an English uppercase character. So I'll write whether my ch is a capital A or it is a capital E. Equals to equals to in single quotes, capital E or ch equals to equals to in uh, single quotes, I or ch equals to equals to in single quotes, O or U. right so if my character is if my character is a vowel then I, then i'll simply have to print c out 
vowel right else i simply have to print consonant consonant right and remember v is capital in vowel and c is capital in consonant so if i firstly let me run it on custom input so if my input is let's say uh, y then it should print consonant so y is a consonant so let me submit my code let's see my answer is right or, or not so now i am my answer is being verified again custom test inputs so this would take some time and it would print whether my answer or whether my program is right or not right whether it is able to distinguish between vowels or consonants or not so this would take some time and then it would uh, it would simply yeah so here we got the correct answer so now that we have understood what a character is let's understand what a string is so a string is basically a collection of characters right so a string is basically a collection of characters in c++ it is also a data type it, it, in c++ it, it is also a data type that is used to store collection of characters right so let's say let's say i have to store a word let's say i have to store a word code shift right so this code shift is a word which is nothing but a collection of letters now letters are nothing but characters so this code shift is nothing but a collection of characters right so let's say i have to store this word or this uh, collection of characters called as code shift so what i will do is i'll write string or one thing first to use strings i have to include a header file I'll, I'll have to write hashtag include include and in triangular braces string right so this will make sure that i can use string in my c++ program then i'll write string maybe with capital s string and then str which is the my variable name and then equals to and in double quotes remember in characters we used to use single quotes for strings we have to use double quotes and then i'll write quote shift within these two double quotes quote shift right and a semicolon then we can simply print this one str right so now if i run this program okay one thing this string has to be in small letters so if now, now if I run this program, then I, then I got the correct answer, which is nothing but code shape, right? I'm simply printing code shape here. So here we have another example. Here we can see that we are simply storing this string ABC inside this string variable str, right? Now, although we are storing ABC inside this string str, what actually gets stored inside this string str is ABC backslash zero right now this backslash zero represents the end of the string this backslash zero represents the end of the string it is also called as the null character right so although we are storing abc inside the string str what actually gets stored inside the string is abc backslash zero where backslash zero is the end of the string so now if i run this program now, now if I run this program, it will print ABC and not the backslash zero, right? Because the backslash zero is only used to represent the end of the string. Similarly, here we can see that in this example, this string is storing ABC backslash zero and DE, right? So what actually gets stored inside this string is ABC backslash zero DE backslash zero right so what will happen is if i run this program it will start looking for the backslash zero from from left to right right so it, it reads a then b then c and as soon as it, it finds this backslash zero it will simply terminate and it will only print abc so if i run this program if i run this program it will only print abc right 
so let's say we have to store and print a word given by the user now to store a word i can simply use a string string str to store a word then i can simply write c in str since the input is given from the user then i can simply write c out str to print that word right so firstly i'll give the input so i'll write as let's say i am writing as code shift so if i run this program then my then my input is code shift and my output is code shift right so i have simply or i have successfully printed a word given by the user now let's say we have to store a sentence given by the user let's say my sentence is welcome to code shift right so now if i run this program using this c in now if i run this program then we can see that my input is welcome to code chef by, but my output is only welcome right so to overcome this issue because i have to print the whole sentence to overcome this issue what i have to do is i have to write instead of this c in i have to write get line get line round braces c in comma the string or the variable name str right so this would fetch the input from the complete line or from the whole line right it would fetch the whole sentence so now if i run this program so now my answer is welcome to code chef or my output is welcome to code chef right so now we'll see some string functions right now here we can see that we are storing this string hello inside this str and then we are simply printing str dot length right so this would print the length of the string right so this would print the length of the string so here we can see that we have one two three four and five characters over here right so this would print five so if i run this program i'll get five So my output is 5, right? So basically the way it is written or the way it is used is firstly write a string name. Here that, that string, name, string name is str, then dot, then length, right? So this would give you the length of the string. So next we have this concatenation function. So this plus is also called as concatenation. Concatenation right now here we can see that we have two strings a a is storing h e b is storing l l o so if i write a plus b and then i simply write it or simply store it at a so what this would do is this would simply combine these two strings it would simply combine these two strings a and b so a is h e b is l l o so it would simply combine these two and it will write h e l l o right hello so if i run this program my output would be hello so my output is hello similarly we have another function here we can see that we are storing again storing hello inside our string str now we are using this at function right so i have to write str dot dot at and then the index right so he, let's say i'm writing three over here so what this would do is this would print the character which is at the third index right now here we can see that this string is stored in zero based indi indexing format right so it starts from zero and it, it goes till four so which character is at the third index so at three we have this l right so this would print l so if i run this program it would print the third character over here which is l l right so this would print l so let's move on to the next function so the next function is sub substring or sub str right so now what this function would do this sub str function what this would do is firstly let me remove this so what this 
sub str function would do is it would simply take a part of the string right so the syntax or the way this function is used is we have to write a string name then dot then sub str then starting index of the string and then the length of the substring right so how this works is here i have written three right so it would it would go on the third third index right so at third index i have this l so now i'm at this position third so now it would start fetching a string from this index it would take or it would start fetching the string from this l and it would take a string of size two right so now i have to start from l and i have to take a string of size two so this would print lo right so if i run this program this would print lo lo here this three is the starting index and this two is the length of the string that we have to take right similarly we have certain other string functions now you can simply google search them you can simply write uh, string functions in c++ and you will get get all the string functions that are there in strings